Right, I'm looking at another periodal. Uh, if you're not familiar with periodal, this is like Wordle, but we have to use the elements of the periodic table to make up our words. We've got all the abbreviations over there, and um, we have to do our words with that. There's a little bit of stuff with the coloring. So uh, yellow means that the element you chose is in the word, but in a different spot. Green means it's in the correct spot. Uh, and orange means that that element is in the word, but not, or that element is not in the word, but the letters in the element are in the word. So if you, for example, get, have aluminum and you get an orange, that means that aluminum is not in the answer, but the letters AL are next to each other. So you might have like uh, sodium and lithium next to each other or something. Oh, except it didn't do it right like that. If you had sodium lithium in the answer, aluminum would give you an orange. And that's about all we need to know. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with spoon, which repeats the oxygen, but that's okay. We're gonna do spoon. All right, well, grays. So you'll notice that all of the elements that have an S-P-O-O or N are grayed out, which is why it's good to try uh, single letters. Um, I was gonna follow up with knives. We're not gonna, we're gonna, we don't have the N, but that's okay, I'm gonna go with that anyways, so. All right, so. The K, ooh, it starts with K, interesting. And that, I believe that is the yellow for the eye. Let me double check the colors. Yes, that's the yellow. So I'm colorblind, I have it on high contrast mode, and I'm just trying to learn what the colors look like still. So it's a green K and a yellow eye. So there is iodine in the answer. If it was an eye in like titanium or something, it would be orange. So it is actually just an eye by itself. Now there could be an eye there could be more than one I in the word, um, but K-I, maybe, um, but something like kitten, but we don't have, we can't do a T by itself, and we need two T's. It was K-I, I don't know what, I feel like it's not gonna be K-I, maybe I here? It feels like it's either K-N, which we don't have an N, or, and we can't even use anything with an N in it. Otherwise the N would have been orange. So it's not K-N, so it feels like it's gotta be a vowel. K-A-R, or something like that. We don't have O. Yeah, there's not, I don't know. Maybe it is K-I. What could that be? K-I-N, K-I-C-K, kick something, kick, kick, you could have another potassium, kicker is E-R, ooh, kicker's pretty good, with the World Cup going on, that's a good guess, let's go for it, oh, it's kicker, awesome, all right, well, that's my first three guesser on periodal, I think I've always got it in four or five before, so, well, actually, if I just kept the stats up, yeah, I've always got in four or five before. Yeah, that's a little bit tricky with the double one, but very cool. All right, so not too bad today. Let me know how you did with this period. I'll be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. But that got me thinking, what does your welcome mean? And why do we say it? Or for that matter, what does... Okay, okay, so that's where the R is. Uh, so the C and the H and the Y are no good. So there's got to be an O. Oh, wonder, wonder. Okay, so we can do, ooh, ooh, we have peaking. It could be speaking, actually. 